What's up and welcome. Yo yo. Today I'm gonna make a big old ice boss. The boss for the ice dungeon. He's gonna be a big dragon that snorts out this freezing gas and might shoot a laser beam out of his eye. And uh, also, this freezing gas is gonna be able to summon these ice wraiths. It's gonna be should be a pretty cool boss fight. What's up, Teak? So I'm just gonna put the player back in the ice dungeon. What's up, Scottish Pizza? Dude, it's been a minute since we any of us here on the stream have seen you, man. How you doing? So what's new in Scottish Pizza's world? So I'm gonna need to put some uh, special patterns for, or special pattern for this boss fight. So I'm gonna need um, switch up the boss patterns. Like boss one, boss two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not much. You got a job? Oh, right on. And you're going on holiday. Cool. Sweet, man. How about uh, how about music, man? What you been doing with your music? Nice, you playing guitar a lot? Cool. Which one of your guitars you've been playing? Who's saying like Jonah? <laughs> What's up, Jonah? Mostly the Les Paul, right on. Cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Pop. 
pattern boss. So the boss hole, this is the boss hole. This used to be a pattern. This will become something else at some point. I'll just comment that out for now. And now this is the pattern for bosses. Six, seven, eight, nine. We want to go. Okay, so pattern six is going to be a little different. Ice insects. No, I'm. I did that last time. I thought I updated the stream's title to say ice boss. No oh, man, no, you never have to say sorry for, for not watching the stream. This is a totally optional thing. But but thanks for your sentiment, man. What's the uh what's my YouTube? It's uh let me put the link. Um Yeah, just type it in. No, I haven't worked on the NPCs on Songbringer in a long time. Um, they're not even NPCs yet. They can't even talk to them yet. But uh, since, man, since you were watching the stream, there's been so much change since then. There's NPCs actually in the overworld, and they're pretty interesting because you can interact with them. One guy gives you an item, um, stuff like that. But I'm saving the NPCs on Songbringer for later because they're going to be... Uh, there's gonna, they're going to be part of the plot and stuff, and so I really kind of got to revamp all of the invite inside of Songbringer and everything. So yeah, this is pattern boss. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, but not six, because pattern six is going to be kind of like boss switch six. So boss six. Yeah, speed dev. Yep. I've been doing speed game. They're not speed. They're just basically time lapses of game development. And I've been doing that for... um. Man, I used to do one of those like every week or whatever. And uh, I'm just finally getting back to doing them on a weekly basis. So I'm catching up on stuff. So the last one I did was like August 2015. So I've got a year's worth of time-lapse videos to create and kind of publish here and there. But I should be all caught up in the next few months. And then there'll be all these speed game dev videos, time-lapses or whatever, making Songbringer. And then eventually... Once Songbringer's finished, I'll go back and I'll create one huge time lapse time lapse video of all the other time lapse videos. So it'll be a time lapse of all the time lapses, and so there'll be like one ten or twenty minute long video of making all of Songbringer, all four hundred videos or whatever it will be at some point. You know, four maybe five hundred videos. So that's like a lot of hours on YouTube, right? That's a lot of video. It's like 500 videos times two hours each. So we'll call this one boss one. There's no more boss hole. It's boss one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did I get nine? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can I can type. I could sing and tap at the same time. So great. Four, five, five, six. Oh man, it gets, it's really hard actually to type and sing at the same time. 
I can't type and sing at the same time. It's too hard. Okay, so those, let's check, double check that. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Right on, man. Right on. Okay, so the boss hole has a block middle, but the boss, here we go, boss six has min wall thick. That's what I did all this for, just so I could set a min wall thickness flag for the specific pattern of boss six. Constants, these should all be good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, man. And then this one. Pattern is pattern boss one plus the style car minus. Yeah. Now this should I'll make this into a variable. Get the style car there and const int style z is clamp by style car minus one between one world number level. So if that's style character six minus one would be, is that right? Should be. One plus style Z. Well, that should be zero. Yeah, that should be a zero. Style Z. What's up, Tate Cub? Nice, man. Thanks, pizza. Okay, so that should be zero. I'm going to double check all that by setting breakpoint here. And we're almost ready to roll. Almost ready to show, create a new pattern for the boss. This is going to be a boss fight where yeah, there's, a, there's a lot of sky on the edges and, and so that these, these dragons can come out of the sky. How do I do? I do well, man. How do you do? Okay, let's see that. All right, so the first Z, it's one. Style car should be one as well. And so the style Z, Oh yeah, that should be zero to world num levels minus one. So this is it. Style Z should come out to be zero. Yeah, that should be minus one. Style character three should come out to be two. Uh huh. Okay. And let's double check that that works. <clears throat> Nice, right on. Well, welcome to the stream, take up. Okay, so good, good. Oh, nice, we have the right pattern. It's not working with the block. The, um, Hmm. 
seemed like that top was a little too rounded, though. Miss Foo's doing great. Doing awesome. <clears throat> because it has a round top. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be... First of all, can't have the round top here. Hard-boiled egg just won! <laughs> Dude, Hardboiled got a hard, Hardboiled has like a real gig now. He has like a job and stuff. He can't can't stay up late, watch the stream anymore. Um, yeah. So that was in pattern, level, random. This is uh, has bits K flag boss, and. Hasn't bits. Constants get pattern flags for pattern given. Oh, wait, wait. wait yeah, yeah. K uh, pattern flag min wall thickness. Okay, so if we have min wall thickness, we don't have round tops. Oh yeah, he's usually here every day. Yeah. He's got like job interviews now as well. He's looking for a position. He graduated, he got his freaking thesis and all that. So excited for the Euros, what you mean? Euros go up. What's up, Loki? Nice man. Welcome, welcome. Holy crap. Wait, oh no, that's oh what? Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Okay, let's look at this from the the pounds perspective. 1.288, dang. The euro as well, compared to the dollar. Hmm. Let's look at the, the euro. Wait, I don't wanna see a graph, man. How do you see a graph of Oh, the football. Oh, right, right, yes. Oh, right, yeah. He's totally, he is. He was talking about that yesterday on the stream, like about how he's stoked about Portugal. I didn't know their team was called the Euro. Yeah, I know, I know. We were talking about the Brexit and all that. X-ray graph? Ah, this ain't making sense to me right now. Only games make sense to me right now. Okay, so there's gotta be enough room in this boss room. Uh, there's not enough room in this room yet. <laughs> there's not enough room in this room. Okay, so what I'm trying to, trying to get across. Trying to finish here is basically there needs to be plenty of space over here in the sky for the for the ice dragons to appear, and then I'm, there's going to be a giant ice dragon here in the middle, which pops up right here. And so there's going to need to be a lot of room for all that. Okay, let's let's start by modifying the pattern. <laughs> Hard boiled, speak of the devil. No, what? What's up, hardboiled? 
We were just talking about you. Scottish Pizza's here, man. Uh huh. Huh. What's the point? Well, I mean, the point was they weren't happy with the um the European Union. What did I do? You won free parking, man. You won free parking just a second ago. Scottish Pizza's here going, what's up? Where's hard-boiled? Well, this is crazy. Two two old faces on, on one stream. It's crazy. Yay! Okay, so area patterns. Creating a pattern here for this big old ice dragon. This is the biggest ice dragon ever. Pattern boss. Six. Okay, so the center of this whole platform here needs to move downward. Yd, h2, minus y. Let's go minus two at least there. Oh, and first of all, let's change these guys too in this room. Foes. We're gonna have um, boss six. And it will never appear for boss one or two or three. Six. Okay, so the six has um, two, at least three ice dragons. Let's go four ice dragons. This is boss six. Did you miss something? You mean t today, right now? No, nothing. like four ice dragons to start with and then there's going to be a giant ice dragon here at the top so perhaps you know what i'm just going to get rid of this platform up here on the top to start with yeah let's get rid of all these um door platforming things just focus on the boss fight at first and we don't need any of these, either of these lamps, but we do want some small chests. And maybe a light pillar, I guess. Yeah, we'll do all these light pillars too. But they should probably be up high. Oh, the past months? Man, there's been a lot. It's been a lot, hard boiled. Um, lots of new bosses. The fire dungeon. The fire dungeon's sweet. Oh, I'll do you a little. Let me show you. Let me show you. Right? You wish the Jib had more to do before you get his weapon. Well, yeah, I mean, there's really not. I mean, he's supposed to be like that. He's supposed to be kind of. Not helpless, but he's supposed to be player two. -y. You know, he's supposed to be a support character. Yeah, true. Teak brings up a good point too. Jib didn't even have a weapon before. Teak actually suggested it. Teak's like, hey. Jib should have some kind of weapon or something. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, you should. So, let me show you the fire dungeon. The fire dungeon is pretty damn cool. The fire dungeon, you have to have um, fire armor 
or else you constantly take damage. This is a pretty interesting dungeon. Here's the fire boss, actually. Do I have the fire armor? Yes, I got fire armor right now. So Shadrach's tier protects you from heat damage. Um, so I can survive. Boss, he's freaking awesome. Yeah, it's fine. It's working. Dang. Salad dogs, what's up, man? Thanks, Hardwell. Yes, right? Yeah, Teak, you can. He is a lot more useful than he seems. Yes, Jib has a weapon. Jib has weapons now. Okay, here's a hot room. Why did the boss room not... Why is the boss room not hot? Cause I gotta get back, gotta get back to the po the point of today's stream, to get back to this these new ice dragons. Yep, yep. Okay, so um, yeah, so this boss fight here, there's gonna be some ice dragons on the sides, and then there's also gonna be a giant ice dragon in the, in the top middle up here. So I think I need to put these. Um, this chest right here, now like at the bottom. Let's do that. Small chest, we'll put it at maybe minus four, and uh, maybe like three, or four, or five, maybe. Mm hmm. Which to distract, which to ignore. Yep, Jib is amazing at distraction. He's an amazing, he's an amazing distractor. Oh, oh! You can also be the navigator playing Jib. Oh, that's a good point, T. Yeah. Okay, that's good. A little bit in, a little bit down. Jib the distractor. It sounds like a, uh, a Depeche Mode album. <laughs> Jib the Distractor. It came right, it comes right after Violator, or whatever that is. What album is that? They have an album called Violator? Oh, John the Revelator. That's right. They have a song called John the Revelator. Which is not, it's not originally a Depeche Mode song, right? John the Revelator is like... Who sang that originally? I don't remember. He distracts, then destructs. Uh, okay, so I think we're ready. We're ready to put in a giant dragon. Okay, we'll start drawing him. First thing to do is to get to get in the proportions. Like, see how big this giant dragon should be. So I'm gonna do a super crappy quick pass at a giant ice dragon head. Basically it's just, he's so big, you're just gonna be able to see his head. Okay, so we'll just get like a boring gray color, or maybe green, we'll do, no, I don't know. Green-ish tinted there. Good enough. Low saturation, high brightness. Not too high brightness. There. Uh, we'll do a gray background. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> have you considered mobile? Yes, I have. And I will be announcing something soon. Uh, I have plans for mobile and for consoles. 
So don't don't sleep. Don't sleep. The important announcement's coming somewhat soon. I'm not sure exactly when I can announce that, but when it does, when I can announce it, uh, you you guys will be the first to know. <clears throat> You've been terribly painful, but I've persevered. I want to sleep at least once a day. <laughs> I get it. I get it what you're saying now. I get that joke. Nice. Yeah, you got to buy it at least three or four times. At least three or four. If, if you don't buy it at least three or four times, you're definitely not a fan. Yeah, I'll disown you as a as a... As a, what's the opposite of a fan? The, the, the developer, I guess. I don't know. I'm joking, of course. I'm joking, of course. You don't ever have to buy Songbringer. You can pirate Songbringer for all I care. I mean, actually, I do care a lot whether you pirate it or not, but like, you know what I mean? I can't stop piracy. I'm not even going to try. Okay, there, we've got a background, this great, this awesome color, and let's draw a, ja a dragon head. Do, 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 do. This looks like something like this. Big old dragon head, rah! You yep. Rah! <laughs> Uh, this is, oh man, this is so funny. It's so funny to draw stuff initially, right? You start out with something horrible like this, and then it eventually it turns into something good, you know? <laughs> Your theory on piracy is most people who pirate games either were never going to purchase them in the first place, right? Or eventually they're going to purchase if they enjoyed it, right? Yeah, you already got like three free keys. Yeah, you can trade one in. Trade one in too. If you, you trade one in for another platform. Yeah, right. Yeah, you got it. Sometimes you do got a pirate just to see if you're gonna if it's can even run it. Ah, uh -huh. right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. It all it all shakes down in the end. There's really no worries about it. Rawr! <laughs> I can't wait to put this in and see what this looks like. Oh, funny. Funny as hell. Alright, sprites. Let's put this make this gonna be a background sprite because it's so big. So, um It's the ice boss. So once again, I'm drawing something crappy like this at first, just to, to dial in the proportions. I want to see how big this actually looks in the game. Oh yeah, I feel guilty. Whoa, it ended up being one of his favorite games of all time. Oh, you don't have your you don't have your keys. What happened to him? Okay, put this in sheets, backgrounds, ice boss, zero. This might need to be its own sprite sheet, even. This guy's gonna be pretty big. But. Yeah, okay, I can move it later. I can move it later. Alright. Let's make sure that builds. And we're gonna need to create an enemy for this. This is gonna be a totally new kind of enemy because there's nothing else really like the, what I got in mind for this ice dragon, this big ice dragon. Uh huh. Right. Never treat your customers, players as criminals. Yeah. Absolutely. Certainly. I totally believe that. 
You know what I mean? Okay, so data, what's, what would be a similar, there's really nothing similar to this guy. I guess he closes his eyes at some point and becomes invincible. So I guess kind of like a, the Raw's enemy, because the Raw's has a shield. Well, I guess that would work. So data, bosses, copy, dot, 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 foes, Raw's, to here. Ice boss. Okay. Okay, now um boss six this boss mob here needs the dragon ice but also the ice boss one of them now the ice boss let's get him kind of set up yes yeah a goofy yes totally definitely um one of the guys that uh i probably won't do this for this one but yeah there's gonna be another goofy type of secret cave um, because one of the guys that did the that donated to get his own character from the Kickstarter his idea is to do a um, a, a raptor like a velociraptor you know like a, dra a dinosaur and a dinosaur that can talk and he says they bred raptors so that's gonna be a funny secret cave but yeah a, like a goofy MS paint style enemy for sure Easter egg. Teak. Teak's philosophy. I can't afford it. I don't want it enough. I have enough games. So I don't need one new. It's always free tool. It does the same thing out there. Uh-huh. For real life, I just save up until I can afford it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I've, I've pirated a lot of things, too. But some things I'm, I'm kind of like... Some things I'm kind of pissed off about as far as like software goes when they when they try and when you've already paid a lot of money for something and then they try and make you pay more like Ableton Live, for example, I paid like five hundred dollars to to get this piece of software and to make music with it and all that. And then a few late a few years later, you know, they upgraded it and they wanted to charge me like another 250 bucks and it had barely changed. You know, it's like, okay, it's the same piece of software. It's just a slightly better. And they want to charge me half the money that I already spent to upgrade it. And then a few years later, now it's like cheap. It's like only a hundred bucks or whatever to get Ableton Live. That's, I don't know. That's kind of where it's like, all right, at that point, should I actually start pirating it? But... I haven't. I've just stayed with my old version of Ableton. I've like Ableton 8.0 and this or 8. Point something. But anyways, that's just a rant. Diatribe over. Okay, so this ice boss, he's gonna have a lot of hit points. Render reflection shadow hit points. Um, how many hit points should he have? Like at least 20 to maybe 80. He's a foe. He can't be hurt by ice. <laughs> With the speech bubble, it says rawr, definitely. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, then you finally bought it? Nice. Right, yeah, it's like, okay. Yeah, the the version 9.0 or whatever of Ableton was not that much different. Yeah, they added like a new effect or whatever. It was like one or two new effects. Sure. I mean, okay, maybe that's that's cool, but like is that's not a major version number. And it's definitely not worth charging your customers a lot for again to upgrade. Although maybe, you know what? Maybe Maybe they're in the state where they've they've had people pirate their stuff 
And so they have to charge a lot to the people that are paying. I don't know. Yeah, maybe that's how that is for them. But then again, you start charging people a lot more and then more people pirate. So it's like, it's a kind of a, it's a tricky situation for everybody, for, for people that are, that are pirating as well as people that are making the software. So, okay. So what was that called? Ice boss zero <laughs> MS bait. Here we come. Shield hurt, release, no hover noises. Okay, so for now, he shouldn't really have any of this stuff going on. Let's just get rid of all that. Wait, maybe choose. We'll keep the choose one. If target none, target hero. Okay, it should be enough to put him in there. I don't know what's going to happen. Let's see what happens here. Right? Tough place. One hand, the business model demands a new major emergency getting upgrade fees. Yeah, on the other hand, you don't have enough changes. Right. All right, Harpoil. See you, man. <laughs> this is hilarious. Uh, uh. <laughs> Well, he has a giant reflection as well. I don't even know where he is. He's so big. So yeah, okay. It's obviously, we can see pretty fast that that is too big of art. So something needs to, needs to get smaller for sure. smaller to start with <laughs> people who have that <laughs> uh okay so he his, his neck was too long and um he's just too big for sure so let's try i don't know about that's 80 percent roughly See, first of all, he needs mass, so he can't be moved. I think that's collision mass. Mass 1.0. Yeah, he has a Vita and a PSTV. Wait, a PSTV? What's that? What's up, pizza? I've never heard of a PSTV. What's a PSTV? Everybody's got a TV these days. They're really... Oh, wait. is this not like the Amazon... What's that Amazon TV called? I thought Amazon... Or... Yeah, it was the Amazon? No, it's not the... Yeah, the Fire TV. That's it. But is that really a TV? Oh, it's a PS Vita in a home console form. Oh, yeah. Well, here's the Amazon TV, right? It's like a little. And then the PS TV.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What? No. Micro console. Oh, so it's kind of like a mini PlayStation 4 almost. Wow, it's only like a hundred bucks. Huh. Yes, I won! I won! Yes, of course, Scottish Pizza, the golden names are still in the menu. Yep, you're there, man. <laughs> I only I only won 59 points though. I'm sad that I only won that many. You're there, man. You're there. It's we'll have to sit here a long time to to find your name, but there's a there's a lot more backers now too, so it's like. Take forever just to even see one gold name. There's a lot more. There's a lot more. It's like sixteen dollar backers and thirty two dollar backers, and there are sixty four dollar backers and up. So that's why it's you don't really see the gold ones as much. Come on, do we see one gold one. Ah, no, I guess not. You did do something good. Yeah, better than eight yesterday. That was funny, right? Only eight points. It's a little misleading because it also requires a PlayStation memory card. Oh. Oh. That's right. You are special, Pizza. Of course. Uh, okay, so that was still too big, and it was in the wrong position. So, let's, first of all, let's get him in the right position. Um, it's like this function called create AI. It goes and it puts the position of stuff. So for now, I've got this little kind of weird functionality going on here. This is not that awesome to have like, you know, else if name equals this, do this, put the thing in this position. But for now, I haven't really found a better way because there's a lot of different enemies have crazy different ways of positioning themselves. So we'll just do... P, yeah, P dot Y plus equals like block size dot Y times, I don't know, maybe five blocks or so. Let's see if that's in the right position now. You ran out of bean dip. Oh man, this is just last night you're like, I'm, I'm going to run out of bean dip soon. And now you really are? Oh. What are you going to do? Okay, so that was a little too high. Let's go for maybe 3.0. At least it was delicious getting to that point. Yeah, Google Bean Dip. I wonder if you guys have that in Germany. Bean Dip. Oh, that's just right. Okay. Now it needs to be a lot bigger. Wait, no. Not yet. Because, like, the one place is going to be... Actually, it would be pretty fun to see him move upwards. So let's go p dot z equals like negative something. Negative, start with 50. And similar to how the Shivek 
Close Shivek. Shivek moves if position. Yeah, here we go. Up if position of Z is less than one vector zero zero one, and he needs AI vector movement. So this will make him move upwards. Like he comes out of the clouds. This is gonna be funny to see. Okay, so that should start him off at like negative fifty and move him upwards. Yeah, Frito leg. Frito Lay style. Yeah, it's dip for chips or other kinds of things. Oh, that's weird. Not moving at all. Why not? Why aren't you moving, man? P Z okay. Hmm. Input flags eight. Ah, oh, he's a. Uh, why not? Why aren't you moving? Oh, maybe he can't move because he's stuck on something. That might be it. I want to see him move upwards out of the clouds. It needs to be um, just a little smaller too. So I think maybe about that big. And maybe if he moved a little higher, maybe he can be stuck on something. Yes, your memory allocator works perfect. Uh-huh, no crashes. Right on, man. High five. That's awesome. So what's, what's a... Tell me about your memory allocator a little bit more. What's it like? What makes it unique and stuff? He's right there. He's like, he's like he's fine. He's in the sky. Wait, oh, his move mask. Oh, that might be it. Yeah, you shouldn't even have a move mask. Turn that off. Other than the part where you forgot to initialize? Yeah? Never wrote anything like it before? He's still stuck. Why aren't you moving? Wait, is that, he's not even showing the word up. Or is he? Oh, he might need a movement speed Z. Ah, uh, wait, 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 yeah. Wait, what's all this? Speed 159, 159, 55 to 200, 200, and then 69. What is all this? Why are there so many speeds? I think it just needs um, any kind of Z speed. The way you're handling memory is that I get the OS to allocate a big chunk of heat, right? So you don't have to worry about memory leaks. Or you don't have to worry about like, um, yeah, nice, partition it out, right, right. It's also probably faster for you to do it that way too, just to locate your heap every once. Uh, 
Okay, there's something else too, like that makes the Shivek stop. Target non vector. Ah. Oh. That's how he stops. Okay, so he just stops as soon as he reaches, so he's done with the sequence up, he stops. Okay, let's see if that happens the right way now. Uh-huh, right, virtual memory. There he goes. Yeah, he's visible on top of stuff. It's weird. Alright, what's up with that? Render Z order mid minus twenty. Oh, because the it's the floor. So if I put him at like negative 900, he's gonna be he's gonna be behind the floor, but he's gonna be also behind the walls. So it'll look totally weird as he comes up if I put him in a different Z order. Oh, that's crazy. Started out having a stack based system. Uh huh. The thing that only works well with data has a deterministic lifetime. Right. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. I guess the only way to do this is to make him just animate his way upward. <laughs> All right. Okay, I can make, I can animate him upwards. Okay. He needs to be a little smaller. And I guess we can get rid of all this stuff about vector movement. And the sequence up and the sequence stop. And we'll just have a sequence choose. And he starts off with a regular old position. Hey, what's up, alien? Thanks, man. Okay, so this guy needs to be a little smaller again. Wait, did I do that already? Can't remember if I did that already. Damn it. Yeah, I didn't do that yet. 
Hey, go, it's going good, man. How about yourself? How is everything? So that's a little smaller. That's like 85% again. Just dialing in proportions here for the size of this. That's why it looks so funny. Ice ball zero. Yeah, it's going really well, man. Lots of new bosses in the game. Today I'm working on this ice boss here. He's like a combo of... He's got, he's got four little mini dragons, and then now I'm drawing this big old dragon that'll fit in the middle. And uh, the big dragon, it kind of is... He has some different kind of attacks. He can like snort out like a, a freezing gas. And I think he might, he might have a thing where he can shoot out lasers from his eye. And he also protects himself when he closes his eye. You're doing good? Just finished up studio for a day? Oh, at the studio? Right on, man. What studio do you work at? What do you do? Okay, so that's about the right size now. It's time to start drawing this guy and making him look cool. Okay, so I'm going to take the existing art from the other ice dragons because I like the, I like the color palette of, the, of these ice dragons, so I'm going to start with that. Oh, you work at Bioware? Oh, right on, man. Cool. Sweet. What are you guys working on right now? If you can say. So basically, I give the allocator a chunk of memory to work with. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, uh, okay. So you have a W link list, a memory box. Mm hmm. Uh huh. So chunk of memory starting with a header struct. And I'm assuming the header struct is kind of like helps you out with the, the chunking and also with the. Uh, with the stack part that you wrote. From there, the way I use it just requests a specific size. Cool. Mass Effect Andromeda. I haven't played any, any of the Mass Effect series yet. But man, this looks beautiful. Sweet, dude. Look at this. This is crazy good art. Looks like I'm actually there. <laughs> so awesome, man. So awesome. Oh, a single unit of the stack. Okay. Sweet, man. And so what part of it do you do, Alien? Oh, you said you're a producer? Oh, yeah, you're a producer. Okay, nice. Yeah, yeah, dude. I bet you're, dude, that's got to be exciting to work with, like, you know, t people that are that talented to make that kind of art. That's amazing. That's cool. I really respect that. Because <laughs> look, <at, laughs> look at the art I'm making right now. So MS Paint. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm gonna copy this dragon here. I like this this dragon's um, color scheme, so I'm gonna start with this. Um, what I drew here for this guy, and just kind of make a bigger version of that. Oh, that part, they're right, they're right. I know what you mean. There's parts you can't say. Uh-huh, contiguous. Oh, sweet. 
Dang, it sounds like you really went all in with this allocator. Right? Oh yeah, the indie space is pretty appealing these days. I can I can hear you I hear you on that. There's so much of uh there's so much goodwill for indies these days, you know what I mean? Like I don't know, ten years ago it wasn't really like this. And it wasn't really possible really for in for indies to make games that really competed with um, you know, triple A studios and stuff like that. Ten years ago, but now you can you can be an indie and you can kind of have you can you can kind of compete. It's crazy. Yeah, big teams can make impressive stuff. Uh huh. And it is a lot of coordination, huh? Yeah, that's the part that that makes me love being an indie for sure. Is just being able to um. You know, I, I don't have any red tape with my choices. You know, I've, I've worked in teams too. And um, it's like, it always kind of like, I don't know, it always really, I'm kind of a creative control freak. Like I love to, I love to have creative control over a project. So it's really, really suits me to be an indie and to make my own choices and not have any red tape or anything whatsoever preventing me from doing stuff. That that is really really nice. Okay, so let's see about how that looks with um with that color scheme and stuff. What's up, DJS Sync and Capital Vez? Yeah. Totally. You're bad at taking orders? Yeah, me too. I'm bad at... That's right. That's a good way to put it. I'm extremely bad at taking orders. Not extremely bad, but it's just like... I feel kind of creatively limited when I'm... When somebody else is telling me what to do. So, I love to... I love to tell myself what to do. You know, I, love to, I love to be the one that makes the choices. Right? If I want this, this big old dragon to fart or whatever and burp, I can go ahead and do that. If I want to make a game about drugs, you know, if I want to eat, if I want to make it so you can eat drugs and like gain your health back, I can do that because I'm an indie. And, you know, I might not be able to release this on PlayStation or whatever because of that, but you know, it's <laughs> that's the price I pay for for uh, for making crazy choices. And, and I mean, as is, you know, I know play. You can you can make. You can make changes um, to your to your game based on what platform you're on and the rules they have. Nice, man. I'm glad it's been informational and inspirational. It's cool. Yeah, okay, so that is about the right height and the right width and everything. So let's start drawing a big old dragon that's like about that size. Very nice. Okay, so we've got an approximate size here. Um, I do like this color scheme, but I think I want to go with something a little different. Um, so we don't need this big of an image at all anymore. In fact, let's crop this to be perhaps about that big. That looks pretty good. And then let's make it a nice even number with 192 height. Is it 92? 96? Yeah, it's 96. That's the... Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks. I really appreciate that. I do hope this... I do hope, like, you know, my whole point of making... Of starting this live stream and, like, and, and doing all the videos on YouTube, you know, uploading them all to YouTube, the whole point is just I want people to be uh, inspired... You know, and even later on, you know, like years in the future or whatever, people can look back and say, whoa, look at this. This one dude made this game and hopefully, you know, and I hope that people like the game too. So like he made a game that I like, you know, and people can look back and say, if that guy did it, I can do it too. That's kind of the point of doing all this. 
Okay, so we've got a sort of a blocky image now of this dragon, but different. I need to go with a different color scheme and stuff. So I'm gonna start a little separate layer for um, doing a color palette. So I'm just gonna draw a little color palette. And I, because I want this, I want this guy to be a little bit different in his color scheme than the other ones, and I want this guy to be distinct. What's up, Pete Wally? Thanks, man. How you doing, Pete Wally? Like for example, a, a quick way to change this guy to make him feel a little more distinct versus the other ice dragons, a quick way to, would just be to um, to make his eye color different, you know, or something like that. So I'm gonna play with this palette a little bit. Actually, I think I might just start over. Yeah, let's, I'm gonna start over. Let's take this and make it super, like barely visible. And then turn off the timeline view for a second. Yeah, there we go. A little more room. Okay. Okay, even though, yeah, I have this color scheme already. I'll start with that, and then I can play with the color scheme later to make it look different. So. Too much travel? Yeah, it's, it's travel season, huh? Everybody's out. traveling and stuff. I think I want this guy to look a little more green. And maybe he'll snarl a bit. Yeah, he needs to have a big nose too. Like I want him to have a big nostril. Uh-huh, it'd be robust, totally. You're glad to be done writing it? Yeah. Hmm. Drawing dragons is so fun. Okay, kind of got a general outline now. And I don't think I really need this other layer visible anymore. All right, so. I guess we'll start with the eye. We'll do this on another layer so I can move it easily. Hmm, the shape is pretty important. <laughs> yes, the XI. Maybe when this guy dies, he'll have an XI. That'd be funny. Big eyes, the bigger the better. 
Make them twice as big. Four times as big. <laughs> T won seven points. Uh, we were just talking about how eight points is such a funny amount of points to win, and now you just won seven. XI, what's this? No, what's that? What? Multi entertainment system. I don't, I what is the XI? It's seven points. Wow. What's an XI? You're waiting for negative points? Of the Sega Wonder Mega? Oh, it's a Mega Drive Sega CD in one unit. It's the Wonder Mega. Dang, it was 500 bucks? Wow. OmniShift, what's up, man? How did I learn pixel art? Thanks, man. You just said that I actually learned the pixel art. That's great. Uh, no, I, I learned pixel art just by watching um, lots of tutorials and um, just doing it. Over time, I've gotten better and better. But yeah, I watched a lot of um, a lot of speed art. You know, lots lots of people doing their own like their videos, but just in time lapse. So you can kind of see the process that people have quickly. That kind of looks somewhat sinister now. Probably going to change this color scheme once it's all done though. Hmm, I think maybe some, yeah, this would look cool if it was like sort of like this, if you kind of had an indentation sort of. Nobody beats a whiz as a kid, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So OmniShift. Yeah, I did do a little series on videos called From Programmer to Artist. Um, it's kind of about, you know, how to become an artist if you're, a, especially if you're a programmer, you know, because I'm, I, my background is in programming. And so I had, you know, a good 15 to 20 years worth of programming experience before I ever tried to make art. And so that series is kind of like about how, you know, how basically how to believe in yourself. Like that was my biggest problem is I didn't really believe that I could make art. And when I finally just believed that I could, it became pretty easy. Yeah, yeah, let me give you the link here. Yeah, Pete, well, I'm definitely going to change the colors on this. This is uh, just kind of a, I'm starting with the colors of the other ice dragons first. So, um, yeah, and then I'll change it a bit. Oh, there. Thanks, Sound Dogs. Nice. Thank you. You call it animator to programmer? Right on. <laughs> right on. What kind of stuff do you animate, OmniShift? I think this eye might need to move. <laughs> right there. That's where the eye should be, right here.
That's good. Okay, so I'm kind of imagining like a ridge sort of coming through here. We'll go ahead and merge these layers, commit to this. Nah. Just in our little world, we're going to have a happy little tree. We're gonna put some cadmium yellow here. And we're gonna shake our brush. Let's shake the devil out of this brush right here. Scar, yeah, a scar would be cool. Okay, but that's gonna it's gonna be some time before I can add a scar. I gotta try kind of get the bot the base part of it first. I want to see what this looks like so far. This is still the right size and all that. Whoops. Behavior is also important too, so I gotta do like the basic behaviors of all this. Yes, yes. We need a happy little tree. <laughs> he was. Titanium white was like his favorite. And the liquid white too. He's all, okay, we're going to go a little bit of liquid white. Everything always looks so much better when it's in the game. It's so good. Yep. The only thing I probably would change so far is to make it look, make it a little like lower down. Yeah, the reflection helps a lot too. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice how forgiving it is when when you cuz like there's a lot of good lighting effects going on and stuff like that. So it just really helps the art to really pop and look better than it does when it's in Photoshop. That's pretty good. About there with this. Those lights for the doors are kind of wrong. better actually if I do mid plus 20 or so put them on top of those lights oh if those lights are even oh yeah those lights might be actually be if I even add like a hundred to that oh yeah the lights are on top of everything okay so that needs to be like high the order high Oh, still not high enough. Right on, Omni. On me. Ice stalactites? Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. I do have an idea for a ice um, stalactite or an ice shard stalactite whatever you want to call it like enemy or or trap so yeah that would be really cool to have icicles everywhere what the hell these two, I can't get this guy above the lights oh 
Oh well. Oh well, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna keep drawing. They're running the first Elder Scrolls game. Uh huh. The water is effectively the same as the sky. It just draws the animation before drawing anything else. Huh. Let's see if I can get a screenshot of that. I'm imagining this is one of the newer ones. Yeah, this is Elder Scrolls V. Uh, how do I get, is that, is it, what's it called? Elder Scrolls, is it the first, is it just one? Hmm. Oh, nice. Thanks, Saladons. Oh, that hit, well, that's way more old school than I was imagining. Okay, so you're saying... Okay, yeah, it doesn't draw anything top wherever there's water. Oh, okay. Cool. Arcane, what's up, Arcane? Yeah, what are they? So they're playing Elder Scrolls right now, huh? SGDQ. Maybe this will be the area for this his scar. Nice, what's up Arcane? Thanks for saying hi. Nice, you're multi-twitching. Oh nice, they're playing the witness. That's cool. Hey, so what other what other games are they playing um that are like you know recent games? Like the witness.
Fallout 4? Oh, cool. Wait, 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 wait. This needs to be part of a different layer. New Wolfenstein, Dishonored. Nice. All right, so now I've got his lower part of his neck and jaw and stuff in a different layer so that um, when I finally end up rotating this piece of art, I can, it's just easy to rotate. Oops. Kirby teeth? All right, I can try it. Momodora? The guy played it with one hand only on a controller? What? Let me see this game. Momodora. Side scroller. Sweet. Oh, look how good the reviews they got. Wow. Gotten crazy popular. Cool. They must have done something really well with this. Whoa. Yes, attack the titties. Attack the titties. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna add this one to my my wish list. This look, I could I could probably enjoy this game. Okay, let's see what it would look like with curved teeth. Let's see, if I were a giant creature like this and I had curvy teeth, which way would they curve towards? Let's try them both. Oh, hell, you can have both kinds, I guess. You can have straight and curved.
Oh, it's only like four hours long. Uh, all different directions. Nice. I mean, yeah, this is barely, this artsy barely even started here. But yeah, it's kind of starting to look better with this, um, with these little touches like that. All different directions. Let's try one like this. Huge, <laughs> huge tooth here. Rawr! 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 Yeah, that one looks weird. Okay, so let's get like a color for coloring in, um, like just below, just like the, he's a gum line, basically. Can you, you put your heads in on a random dragon noises? <laughs> uh, yeah, you like shorter games? Cool. Right, price is according to the length. Yeah. 60 yard game like Fallout 4 probably game will never really complete. Yeah. <laughs> I totally hear you on that. I don't have 60 hours really to put into games anymore. I did when I was a kid. But now I got games to make. They take a lot of time. I don't know about this little, this tone for these gums, but I'm going to keep drawing it and then play with the tone later. It's like a little too red or maybe a little too, I'm not sure. You have to intentionally set aside time, yeah. I hear you. I kind of get like really sucked into a certain game for a minute, you know, like especially the games in the in the genre that I love to play recently, like you know, indie, retro art, pixel, two D. Those are my kind of games. I get stuck playing them, you know. Like I'll I'll play Hyperlight Drifter, for example, for you know, the week it came out, I'm like, boom, I got it, played it. For that whole week, I put like 20 hours into it, and then that's it. You know, I'm done with it. Um, same thing with Axiom Verge. Axiom Verge was so good, I just played it all week, and then that was it. Because neither of those games are procedural. They're amazing games, but they're just not procedural, so there's nothing really to surprise you the second time you go play it. Or whatever. You showed your nephew, you Cocos? Nice, right on. Yeah. 
Yeah, I gotta. I do. I do want to replay Hyperlight Drifter. It's so good. It needs. It's one of those games I really would love to replay because it's just. It's awesome. Okay, you know what? This is good enough to put in the game so far, just like that. And start on the behavior. I gotta start. I gotta work on the behavior for this guy because, um, you know, I've already spent most of the stream kind of like drawing this and getting this all prepared. So it's time to do a little bit of coding and get this so it's kind of playable. How you know it's imagined to be just sort of, you know, playable. Yeah, right on. So, um, so you showed him Cocos and all that, and uh, there was an so an hour is a quick amount of time, right? I'm imagining it's not like long to do a splash screen. Okay, so first of all, let's kind of see what it looks like, and he's gonna need at least two frames. He looks very crocodile-like now. It's kind of the point. It's a crocodile cave dragon thing. Okay, he does need he needs one more frame at least though. He needs the frame where his eye closes, because that's gonna be part of his mechanic as he closes his eye, he's invulnerable for a minute. So let's do uh copy this layer. Okay, looks kind of cheesy, but that's good enough to at least, you know, show that these has his eyes shut. So, um, he needs both frames. Rah, I'm closing my eyes. Grr. Ice boss, foes, render. Wait a minute. Oh. Put it in the wrong place. Salad dogs! Boom! Alright, P. Wally, see you, man. Now he's got that. He's got 
two frames and he needs like a regular idol and then idol where he's uh shield like he's got his shield up so format ice boss this one's one so now he's got two animations he can run and uh the sh not the shivik but the bras The Roz has this mode he goes into where he puts his shield up. Shield up, shield down. So I'm going to copy those behaviors over to the Ice Boss. We'll go to timer three seconds at first, and then when the timer's up, puts up a shield. And sets his skin to be dash shield. There, so this should make him close his eye and have a shield up. Which I'm not sure. One, two, three. Nope, that didn't work. Unless it needs to animate this idle frame. Oh, yeah, that was it. Okay, so he's got his eyes closed now. That he needs to animate idle when he goes back to his regular shield. And he needs another timer. So, so let's do timer five instead of delay five there. the whole time. So with his eye open, I want to be able to be hurt.
Okay, I think what's happening is I'm using up... I, I hurt him a little bit, so it used up his shield. So he kind of needs, like, a really strong shield, like 9999. Let's see if that helps. Okay, maybe I'll do like modes to make him. So mode zero is when he has his eye open. So instead of delays, I'll use timers. Mode zero, timer five. Mode 1. Okay, so he moves into mode 1 when his shield is up. And then he goes back to mode 0. Mode 1, timer's less than 0, shield 0. Animate idle, scan nothing, timer 5. Okay, that should work now. That should work now. Why does he get so many points? <laughs> I know, you get 7, he gets 89, what was that? Yeah, nice, he's closing his eye. Opening his eye, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> he's already coming to life. Whoa, salad dogs! Why is he getting hurt with the shield up? He should have, he should have complained about points. <laughs> Definitely. Here, wait. Oh. I can help this situation. I'm sure to complain all the time. Okay, time to figure that out. It would be in like change hit points. If uh, if this entity. If the name of this entity is Ice Boss, you're welcome. So much sharing, caring, daring, preparing, layering. Is it is layering a word? Like I'm just sitting in my lair. I'm, I'm layering today.
E dot name dot name is Ice Boss. Oh, he doesn't have a name. You definitely need a name, man. Here, take a name. Take this name called Ice Boss. And I think temporarily I should I should just comment out these guys, the other dragons, because it's like I keep delete I just keep killing them. There's no point to having them right now if they're kind of in the way. So turn off the dragon ices. Keep just the ice boss. And now it's easier to debug. <laughs> so many bears can snare you in the lair. Beware! <laughs> nice one. Fix the if spacing? You mean that temporarily temporary if spacing or what? Um That was with his eye open. Why does he keep getting hurt? There. Okay, he has his eye closed. Alright, he's got hit points 166, shield hit points 999. He's got a shield cooldown. What's that all about? I forgot what that is. Oh, use shield. This is a better place to put this little temporary debugging. Inside the method I'm gonna need to be checking anyways. Fix the if spacing? What do you mean fix the if spacing? I know, I am very interested in that too. Because the right, that's going to be some kind of like thing they figure out that I never planned. There's like some glitch they find. I'm, I'm really excited to see what kind of glitches end up, end up being in Songbringer. Oh, it's the shield cooldown. I forgot about the shield cooldown. What the hell is the shield cooldown? How does that work? Okay, so if it has a shield cooldown, it just ticks it. I know, there probably will, huh? Yeah, there'll be a few that are so good. And then there'll be some people like finding new seeds and be like, look, this one's even better for speed running. And then it'll switch for a little while. Yeah. I think what's really going to help make some seeds better is the is the secret paths, you know, because some of the secret paths you can skip items. Like if you if you you know you can skip getting acid or whatever, or skip getting the ghost sword, just because there's a secret path somewhere that allows you to get through dungeon seven or whatever quickly. Yeah, I'm I'm really interested to see. I mean, gosh, it's it's cool to be making a game like this where it it's. It's not really all in my control. You know, I can't really I can't really go and test 300 million worlds. So, it's fun. It's really fun to have that. You know, there are going to be bugs in this game. There's going to be things that like, you know, there are sweet glitches that people will find and and shortcuts and exploits. Yeah, definitely. You know, the se the sequence breaking. That's the that's the right word for it. Sequence breaking. Because of 
because of secret walls and secret paths. Yeah, uh-huh. Because I'm, I'm one of those people that's like, you know, if I could, I would go and actually test all 300 million worlds. Like, if there was some way for me to do that, I would want to perfect my game so much. I'm like, oh, yeah, there's no bugs. But that's impossible with this game, so I got to let go. I just got to relax and let it happen. It's going to be cool anyways to have bugs and glitches and stuff. Okay, so every time it uses the shield, it introduces a shield cooldown where... Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't want it to be like that for some shields. Okay, so the shield cooldown is meant for it's really meant for jib and rock. And even if the game was static and not broke gen, and likely there would be someone like a Yeah, totally. Yeah. There definitely would. Can't stop the speedrunners. No way. Okay, this is super apparent how f this is a pretty easy fix right here. I need to give a very I need to make a variable for part of the um Oh, you're joking about on line 193? Oh, oh, this if spacing? You mean this part right here where there's like not a space there? Or what? This Still not, still not seeing what the joke is. Okay, so health component. This needs to be a variable. It needs to have a... Oh, it does have a shield. Okay. There's the shield cooldown, but then there's the shield cooldown duration. Oh, it's just that it's not lined up? Oh! No, I just, I do that whenever it's temporary stuff that I know I don't want to check into, co into my code base. So that when I go and like I, I do my diffs or whatever and I check out what's new in this version, it's very apparent. It's like, oh, that's clearly something I did not mean to check in. So I write stuff really horrible like that so that it's obvious this is not meant to be shippable code but i get the joke now thank you man i get it i get it i get it okay okay got it it's it's gotten the joke is gotten it's captured it's been caught so health component that's cpp shield cooldown shield cooldown duration Oh yeah, you always use comments. Yeah, obnoxious comments. That's a good way to do it too. I guess I'm just trying to save myself a little bit of time by not even having to write a comment. I'm just like, let me just make this super ugly so that it's very obvious. Recharge duration. I'm just gonna call this the shield cooldown. Get float, maximum cooldown. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, there, now we've, we've loaded it. It's part of data and the two entities that need this can put it in their data instead of it being. Yeah, so we don't need that.
speed, health, shield cooldown, duration. There we go. Data driven. Temporary. Be sure to delete. Oh, it's already for two hours? Whoa. For like 10 lines. <laughs> Dang, that's, that's a lot. And then you still manage to forget to delete it. Uh, to do, be sure to revert this change. <laughs> you don't know what I was referring to? That's the best, right? You're like, oh, I can't even remember. Where? Wh why? What the? So that shield was 1.3. All right, so basically rock has a health shield cooldown of 1.3. He can only use his shield every 1.3 seconds. And same thing with Jib. Jib's shield, he also has a shield cooldown 1.3 seconds. Boom, there. And then everything else, I just, if they have a shield, it's permanent. Okay, so I should be able to turn that off for a minute. And now, if I hurt the guy with his eye closed, it will never hurt him. Yeah, it's just a new feature. Yeah, right? As far as I can tell, code works. Just uh, don't need this comment anymore. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Okay, so he opened his eye. I can hurt him now. Eyes closed. 146, 146, 146, 146, 146. Yep. Now it's working. Okay, uh, let's make sure though that um, the player still, the player's shield still works as intended. Yeah, get history that for sure. Like, why? What? What's this for? So what I need is a situation where I'm going to get hurt twice. Yeah, there. Okay, let's set the rocks cooldown duration now. I can get rid of this. Ugly comment. Bye bye. What's up, fears? Kappa was here. Oh no! Your headphones are only getting out of audio out of the left ear. You expect a replacement? Is this is this another complaining thing? Uh, oh no, they gave way. Ah, mine are the same way. These, these like I have the, I have the oldest headphones. This one, I completely lost, this side, I completely lost the, the cover. This side I covered with electrical tape to keep it held in place. And like, I always have to constantly like adjust the left one to finally get it to click in place so that the left ear even works. But when I bought, when I actually bought these, these are actually kick-ass headphones. There's Sun Sennheiser, Sennheiser ones. I, I'm gonna buy the exact same pair again when I finally get another 250 bucks. Nice fears. Cheers, man. So okay, just to make sure that that worked, I'm gonna go and change um Rock's shield cooldown to like something ridiculous, like 30 seconds. So he can use his he can use his shield once. And then it's cooldowns for so long that like you can't use it twice in those 30 seconds. So let him get hurt. Shield. Yep. Nice. Nice. And then if like 30 seconds goes by. Yeah, you can just now you can justify getting new ones, right?
Okay, yeah, there is shield one again. All right, that works. Cool. And that is kind of something I should check in right now. So let's do that. I'll do a check in, and I guess that's going to be it for today's stream, too. Because oh wait, I'll do one more check, one more thing. I'll go back to this this boss guy. And just show them one last time. So yeah, what I'm working on now is this boss fight. If anybody just joined the stream, I'm, I'm doing this for your benefit. Show you what I was working on today. It's this big old dragon guy. He's gonna, I imagine him, I imagine his head coming out of the clouds. So he's not gonna be static like this. Like his head will appear and it'll look cool. You're like, whoa, who's this? Whoa, it'll be super intimidating. And there's these four other dragons that, that fight. And if you get hit by their their ice balls, you are uh, frozen for a minute. Um, and so they're kind of challenging in, the, in their own right, alone. And then you've also got this guy to contend with. And this guy, the, the plan for this big boss, big dragon here, is for him to... Um, he like snorts out like big old ice um, clouds. And the ice clouds freeze you, slow you down. But also, inside the ice cloud, like this, a new enemy I'm gonna create called the Ice Wraith will appear that crystallizes. And then, yeah, so the, this should be a pretty dynamic and pretty, you know, lots of dimension to this boss fight because there's so much going on. So this should be pretty fun. Um, so yeah, that's it for today's stream. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I will be back. I'm not sure about tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. Maybe tomorrow. I'll probably be. I'll probably stream tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Cheers, everybody.